What werewolves? The werewolves are out when it's a full moon. Ninety-nine freaking episodes. Some of you seen all of them, every single one of them, and some of you just came in recently and you're like, what the hell is a work show? A work show stands for number one, honesty. As you notice, I'm a really down to earth type of guy, really chill. I'm not that overhyped, like down, 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 far from it, far from it. And I tend to make my videos just like that. It may go up and down in terms of, you know, speed, but most of the time it's really down to earth and it's not a typical video blog you can you see compared to other youtubers and that's why i rather call it documentaries for youngsters number two it's all about creativity it's my point of view i tend to give you some images that would you know maybe inspire to make your own art or any kind of movement um or it might give you some answers to some to some of your questions or other way around give you more questions i know it's it's a it's it's about challenging your brain in some kind of way i hope um yeah <laughs> and yeah that's about it that's 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 what a work show is for i treat it as a, any kind of tv series um it usually gets from 10 to 20 minutes somewhere in the middle and it's here to stay there's going to be another hundred and probably another hundred after that episodes. Um, thank you for being with me. And yeah, let's pop that cherry and get that hundred episode. Vidalba, uh, closer to the highway. To get to Portugal is gonna be a big challenge. It's around 600 kilometers. The plane is flying so low. It's a local one. The nice gentleman gave me an apple. Lovely lady just gave me a ride. Short ride for five kilos. I'm gonna get to the other petrol station. <laughs> top notch security people, top notch. Yeah, okay, ask a couple people in the station, they're like, What the fuck are you doing? Like, I don't take people. I'll go get the bus or something. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stand there. There's also a restaurant here, so people are definitely gonna see me here. It's a nice stop. And uh, just gonna go a little bit north, anywhere north, on the way to Porto, closer to Porto. There's not a lot of traffic here, so I, I hope I'm not stuck. Two minutes so far, so nothing. Spanish people, they just don't take hitchhikers, I don't know why. Snow in Spain. Mira, control. Who and die to die in Avila? Juan over there, that car over there. He was a really nice gentleman. He gave me a ride to Avila. It's freaking freezing right now. I'm near the city center. There's a petrol station here, but I'm not sure if it's gonna help me out or not. Got lucky. I went for a pee, came out as the first guy to get me a ride he's like yep I'll give you a ride somewhere so hopefully it's gonna save me some time I got so lucky that gentleman gave me a ride and check out this view Avila is a Avila is a lovely city like like I mean check this out meters there should be a stop towards Salamanca. Okay, Salamanca come on baby the gentleman saw me made a circle just made a circle yep he's coming back <laughs> I'm totally on fire today 
perfect. Funny story. So the guy, he came from North Brazil, Colombia, I believe. Didn't speak much English. So he called his wife, she's from Venezuela. And we had like a three-way communication through the car speaker. And she's like, yeah, what, what's up? What's up with you? And I'm like, yeah, my name is Chris. I'm a Lithuanian traveling around Europe and I travel and film. And she's like, oh, wow, that's cool. That's really cool. Well, we're gonna give you a ride towards Salamanca, no problem. That was the first call. On the second call, after like 10 minutes, She's like, Chris, um, what, where are you traveling today? What's your plan? I'm like, going to Salamanca, then I'm gonna go to the border and try from the, from the border, gonna go towards Porto. That's my plan for today. On the third call, she's like, Chris, you know what? You're gonna go to our flat, our house. I'm gonna feed you. Lucky man. There we go. What is that shit? That's the item, man. Madrid <laughs> map. <laughs> you were given this? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> this tiny carabiner will resemble that I'm a climber. And this Santa Claus or whatever you call it. Oh, there's a rubber band. You'll get that as well. Um, uh, this was given to me by my friend, who is a climber as well. And he said, you need a Christmas decoration in your van. And that was last year. <laughs> so it's been through whole summer and now it's November already. So Christmas is pretty close. But I've given this decoration to Chris. So somebody else might find it useful. Bye. Cool. Awesome. Um, his name is Freddy, by the way. Freddy. Awesome. Yo, Freddy. Join me on my trip. Yeah. This is oh, a Christmas, a Christmas thing. <laughs> Carabiner, it's a climber yeah, thing, see. and ghost stays with you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> it's for your our tree. Yeah. That we are going to put. I don't know where. Somewhere Maybe here. There. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you a lot. <laughs> España. Yeah. Ah, perfect. And this might be for you. <laughs> um, tune it even. <laughs> for you. <laughs> España, oh, this is amazing. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I'm from Venezuela. Venezuela, oh. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Samuel. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Uh, I hope you don't mind if I'm gonna bend it. I still have it, Samuel. The problem is it still falls down. Because my wall doesn't have, like, it doesn't stick that well. All the posters like tend to go down. More. More. Yeah. As I said, it's a bit bent, but it does the job. Thank you, buddy. Still have it. Oh, Salamanca is really beautiful. And the cathedral is just massive. Obviously, it's a little bit overpacked today with stuff, but this is the main square of Salamanca. I'm really glad that these guys gave me a tour. I'm gonna run now. <laughs> it's really beautiful. And that's when they decided to, you know what, Chris, we're gonna give you a, hun a hundred kilometer ride to the border. I'm like, what? <laughs> I can grab a car for myself, no problem. And like, no, you're our guest, Chris. We have to give you a ride, you know, no questions asked. I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay. And yeah, so they gave me a ride far, far more than extra mile. It's extra 80 miles. It's crazy. <laughs> and still this day, I'm really grateful. If you're watching this, 
I'm really grateful. That was that was really amazing. That was stunning. Ooh la la. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they just gave me a ride to the border from Salamanca. I'm the luckiest guy. One hour later. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna get the ride. So I got lucky. Thank God I didn't sleep in the petrol station in the middle of nowhere by the border because it was freaking cold as hell. Just waiting for the guys from the car over here. The drivers were French couple. Uh, thank you for giving me a ride. It was pure dark and I was really, really lucky. It's 8.10. They were offering me to get me to Avero and go for a hostel there. But I was like, you know what? I can still make it. And then I asked four people and both all of them said no. I just realized I need to get over the fence to the next station. <laughs> Guys, this one is going to Lisbon. I need to get to Porto. <laughs> Waiting for some cars. Good thing is, is it's not that chilly compared to the last station I was, 100 kilometers away. And if I'm gonna get a car, it's only gonna take me half an hour to get to Porto. Come on, cars, come on. You need some gas? Yes. Come, 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 come. Perfect. No, 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 no. Okay, so I got couch confirmation in Avero. Which means I am going back over the fence. <laughs> Jump back over the fence. A businessman was traveling towards Lisbon. I begged him to give me a ride to Avera, and he was like, "Yeah, I'll give you a ride, no problem." I'm in Avera. It's a very, very beautiful town. I'm glad I came here, actually. Met this guy in ways, had some dinner and slept in his place. This was put as much food as you can on your plate for the same price. And that's a ways getting some coffee. And we're gonna get the meal here. Eat etc. And good night, baby. Good night. Success. I did 500 kilometers in one day and that's freaking insane. Chocolate inside. Dude, I love it. It's really good. Can you tell me how the hell did that bottle get there? Like, how the hell did it came there? No idea. The wife? Yeah. She's from Venezuela. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, that's one. Grab that. That's and there's good. Espana flag for you. No way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hat for hat. Yeah. Okay, let's see. I use it, I don't know, like... <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Polo! Yeah. <laughs> Marco? Polo. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect, that's Thank fine. Thank you. <laughs> 